What's up, y'all? We are back today. Day five, I believe we're on now. Um, we got some stuff to talk about. We got some really good stuff to talk about. If you watched that final last night, the 400 final, uh, the 400 hurdles, you know what I'm talking about. Like that, some iconic stuff. But we're going to get to that in a second. But we're going to start off today, the 400 meter first round. This is our first time seeing the women of the 400, Allison Felix. So we got to see Allison. But we're going to start off with heat number one. Heat number one, we've got Shawnee Miller-Webo. She put up a time 50-50, um, and she won her heat pretty easily. Um, so she moves on. Heat number two, we've got Quinera Hayes. Quinera Hayes won trials. Um, she was heading into uh, the Olympics as the favorite for the American women. And in her heat, she put up a time 51.07. Um, she qualified onto the semifinal. She finished second to Jody Williams of Great Britain, who put up a time 50.99. Pretty solid first run. She's not trying to do too much, trying to save her legs. We move on to heat number three. Heat number three has the most decorated female track athlete, the legend herself, Miss Allison Felix. Allison Felix, she came into this race um, and she 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 really did what she does best, which is come down the back stretch in control. The first 200, she was down that back stretch in control. She looked at ease. She was just she looks like she was jogging truthfully. Like she just had a pace to her where she looks like she is in top form. She came home in control in the lead. Put up a time 5084. That is a killer time for her first run. And you know how she was. She's a veteran, so she's she's saving her legs. She's not trying to do too much. And for her to put up that time and win her heat, it's looking good for Allison. I feel like she's gonna do really well moving on to the semi and potentially the final. I would love to see her get a medal, but I really want her to win gold. Uh, but I feel like if she continues at this pace, she's definitely gonna get a medal. Um, but we'll move on to talk about, we'll talk about Wadley and Jonathan as well. And she was in the final heat, which she finished second with a time 50-93. She ran a pretty smooth race as well. She saved her legs towards the end. And yeah, she put up 50-93, so yeah, she killed that as well. So 400 for the women, it was pretty strong heats for each one of them. So yeah, the women showed up and showed out. So we got a good final coming and a good semi-final coming from them as well. So what we'll now do is move on to the men's 200 meter um, first round. This is the first we get to see of the men. We've got a couple people here that I'm excited to see. We'll first start off with heat number four. And in this heat, we've got Arian Knighton, the high schooler um, that just broke Usain Bolt's record at the trials. This dude right here, he's he's special. He's going to be something serious in the future um, of track. I'm just excited to see his journey as well, just to see where his career goes and what type of records he continues to break. Because he's, he's a talent. He won his heat. He put up a time 2055, qualified on to the semifinal. I'm very excited to see what he's going to do. I hope he goes really far. I hope he gets to that final. I think he can. And he's looking good going in. He won that first heat, so he's good there. So we'll move on to heat number six. In heat number six, we've got Kenny Benneric from the United States. He put up a time 20.01. Kenny was in clear control from the start all the way to the end. It's not much to really say about that. He ran that pretty comfortably, pretty quickly. And he's on to the semifinal. In heat number three, we've got Andre DeGrasse. Andre DeGrasse is my favorite of this event, the 200 meter. I want him to win gold really, really bad. Um, in his first round, he ran a pretty comfortable um, 2056. He finished uh, third. He was looking towards, looking to his right just to see where everyone was coming home, just to make sure that he did qualify on. He qualified on with time. Um, put up 2056. As I said, he finished third. And he's moving on to the semifinal. In heat number seven, we've got Noah Lyles. Noah Lyles comes in as the reigning world champion, the Olympic trials champion. Um, and yeah, he, he came out in prime form. I was, I was really interested to see how he was going to look, considering how his season has been. His season has not been too great. He did not look too good all the way to really the final of the trials 200. 
that was when we finally saw like the Noah lives that we're used to seeing. And he continued that here, like his first outing on the track, he looked fantastic. He looked very in control. He looked very comfortable. And he looks like he's ready for that final and I'm excited for him as well. I see him in that final. And he's definitely on his way to receiving a medal. He won his heat, as I said, put up a time 2018. So from here, we are now gonna move on to the main event. The main event is that 400 meter hurdle final, the men, Ry Benjamin versus Karsten Warholm. This right here was probably, besides Sydney and Dalila, this is the most anticipated <laughs> matchup that we've got. It's, it's funny because the 400 hurdles has the two rivalries that are just world record breaking. And I've been rooting for Rye. I wanted Rye to win this entire thing from jump. So I am a little disappointed, but can't be that disappointed because he set an American record as well. Um, Rye Benjamin versus Karsten Warholm. Carson, I gotta give you your respects, dude. Like, they came around, let's just talk about it. He came out, Carson, we already knew he was gonna come out strong, running a very quick pace. And that's what he did. Um, coming down the first, probably the first 300, Rye was right there with him, not trying to let him get too far ahead, but coming into the final turn, Rye kinda gave up a little bit for him. Um, but coming out of the turn, Rye ran a very good turn. Um, and he caught back up and Carson just, he kicked it into a whole new gear towards the end, which is so insane. Cause just trying to find your legs coming home, that's, that's the hardest thing, just trying to power home. And that's what Carson did. And Carson literally broke his world record that he set last month. And he, he went sub 46. He put up a time 45.94 for a new world record. He just ran 45 seconds with hurdles, dude. A 400 with four, a 445 seconds with hurdles. Like that is insane. That is insane, man. Like big ups to him. Like I said, I was wanting Ryan to beat him, but I cannot. I can't hate on greatness. That that right there was, that was a race. And like I said, Ryan set an American record. Allison Dos Santos, he set a record as well. Put up a time 46.72 to get bronze. That race right there, I will be watching that race probably for the next year, every single day, just like I did Sydney and Dalila's uh, Worlds in 2019. Like that race right there, I, I'm still blown away. But that was some iconic stuff right there. So we're now gonna move on to this morning's events, which was nighttime events for um, Tokyo. So now, so we've got the 110 meter hurdle for the men. This is the first time we're seeing them out. Um, we're really just gonna talk about one person in particular. Maybe one or two. Um, <laughs> but I'm just most excited to see Grant Holloway. He is the trials champion. He comes into this as a favorite to, um, to win gold as well as to set a world record. And he won his heat, put up a time 13.02. Moving on to the semifinal. Pretty solid run from him. And we've also got Devin Allen from the United States. He put up a time 13-21, won his heat, moving on to the semifinals. Those two boys are no joke. Um, so I'm just excited to see them as well. So we'll now move on to, to the men's semifinal for the 200. And in heat number one, we've got Arian Knight, and he won his heat again. Put up a time 20-02. He qualified on to the final. He is headed to his first final as a teenager. He, he did what he was supposed to do, clinch those two wins for those two heats, clinching his spot in that final, and I expect him to do great things. Um, we're gonna move on to heat number two. Heat number two, uh, this was a pretty, pretty solid heat. And this run, the top three finishers put at the same time, but Noah Lyles finished third and qualified on, um, what a time, 1999. Like, they all went sub 20, so. That's a that's a that's a heat right there, and that's gonna be a very interesting final watching those boys running that time. That was a that was a strong 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 showing from all three. But we move on to Andre DeGrasse. Andre DeGrasse, I'm telling y'all, 
This is my boy to win gold. Andre DeGrasse put up 1973. That is a personal best for him. He won his heat. Kenny Bettinerick, second place, 1983. Like, these boys are running sub-20, and they about to really show out in this final. And I'm very excited to see. Like I said, I'm looking for Andre to take that gold. Kenny Bettinerick, Noah Lyles, Arian Knighton, Brown from Canada. That's going to be a very strong fight. <laughs> That's going to be a very strong fight for the medal. So I'm very excited about this final. This final is shaping out to be one that could go down in history, just like that 400 final, that 400 hurdle final. So now we are going to move on to the 800 final for the women. And this stars a thing mo. The thing mo, the 19 year old, she went out and she just, she was in control of that race from jump. And you know her final 400 is always going to be special. And she just won gold, man. I think Mo won gold. She was in control the entire race. And that's where, that's where it's super exciting to see as well. Because her being so young, you would expect somebody so young on the largest stage in the world for the first time to kind of look like she was being pressured as well. And she just ran that race so cool, calm, and collected as she always does. And she put up a time, 1 minute 55 seconds. And that's a new record for her. And that's a PR for her. And she won gold. Um, second is Keely Hodginson. Hod Hodgkinson. Keely Hodgkinson um, of Great Britain. And Raven Rogers. Raven Rogers came from behind on the last, what, 200, the last 150. She came, she was not even in top three contention for a medal. And she came all the way up and grab third she got that bronze she put up her personal best as well and yeah we got two americans on the podium a thing mo with the gold killer 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 and last but not least we are at the 200 meter final for the women in this race we've got some stars we've got gabby thomas we've got elaine thompson hurrah and we've got shelly ann fraser price and with this Shelly Ann took the race out the strongest. She took the race out the hardest coming out the blocks. Gabby looked really strong this race. This was the race that we were wanting to see from her the first two rounds, really. Um, but Gabby and Shelly Ann were just fighting for one and two because Elaine Thompson, hurrah, she was in control of that race coming around the turn. And not only that, Shelly Ann didn't even finish on <laughs> the medals for this. She didn't even finish on the podium. It's Christine Bummer. She came through and she came from she came from the back, truthfully, and just pushed those last meters home. And she literally she literally outran Gabby and Shelly Ann for silver. And she finishes with silver. Gabby finishes with bronze. And Elaine Thompson Hurrah is now the Olympic champion for both the 100 and the 200 meters. Like bow down to you she is the truth but yeah that was my review for day five of the olympics for track and field we've got day six going into the um we've got relays coming soon and for the four by four for the women i think mo is definitely going to be on that sydney is definitely going to be on that i'm thinking dalila is definitely going to be on that but it just depends on what goes on with this 400, uh, the 400 final for the women. Allison very well could get on there. Quinera could get on there. Wadalyn could get on there. But it's it's starting to look good. This back half of this back half of the Olympics, we've got the 400 meter hurdle final for the women tonight. Sydney versus Dalila. That's gonna be something serious. I feel another world record is going to be broken as the last three times Sydney and Dalila have raced each other. That has happened. I feel like Sydney is going to run sub 51. I feel like it. she's gonna do that. I feel like it. And Dalila probably will too. <laughs> so I don't know. We got something crazy happening. Like I said, if you like this video, thumbs it up, comment down below, subscribe, share if you are new here. But yeah, I will check with y'all tomorrow after the events.